Hello, football fans, and welcome to today's ACSA Game of the Week, featuring the number five team in the nation and the Bluff Attack Fighting Muskrats going on the road to play against the number 14 team in the nation in the Iowa Institute of Technology. And what should be a very great matchup between some very good teams in the ACSA within the Big North Conference. Should be a good one, so if you're excited about today's ACSA primetime action, do me a favor and please smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you have to be brand new to the channel. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get into some game action. With all that being said though, it is officially time to get this game underway now. The Iowa Institute of Technology starting with the football and facing pressure. But look at this though, Boozy was all by himself. He's going to take this one to the house. And that's how you start a game, ladies and gentlemen. The Vikings taking it right to the Fighting Muskrats. And taking a very early 7-0 lead. It's now Bluffton Tech now forced to respond early after giving up a touchdown on the very first play of the game. We'll see what this Bluffton Tech offense can do. One of the best offenses in the country, led by Seth Roberts as he throws to the right-hand side. Gets it to Lebon, who does pick up nine yards on that one for a decent gain. It's now just third and short coming up. Going to run it with Paul, who is going to find some tough running room. Iowa Institute of Technology, known for its defense. We got a great matchup here between these two units, man. I can't wait to see how it all goes down. As Paul going to take another carry up the right-hand side. He does manage to pick up another first down, though. It's now again, first and ten. Roberts dropping back to pass. He has time. He's going to go deep to Davis, who makes the catch across the 35-yard line. And the Fighting Muskrats look like they might be ready to respond. They now have second and seven. Roberts going to try to get to the first down marker and does so with ease. Bluffton Tech now in the red zone. As now two plays later, second and 12. Roberts trying to scramble out of there but gets lit up like a Christmas tree. So that's going to knock them back a notch as now they have a third and 17. So now basically Iowa Institute, they're playing a prevent defense. They're going to throw short to white who of course is going to be well short of the first down marker. Bluffton Tech going to have to settle for a field goal though. But hey, what a great start by the Vikings so far as Medellick and company gets another first down on Bluffton Tech. They're now on the 40-yard line right now. As the Vikings continue to move, they're chucking this thing to the left-hand side now over to Outlaw, who nearly gets to the first down marker as well. Just one yard shy. Would be shocked if they ran the football here on this third and one. We'll see what they do though. As Metallic is ready to take the snap and is going to hand it off to McKibben, who gets across midfield and also pick up the first down in order to move the chains. It's now third and five now coming up for the Vikings once again. A few plays later, will they run it again? No, they will not. It's Metallic again. Throw into the right hand side, gets to the Boosie, who has the long touchdown reception earlier today. Making another first down catch for his quarterback. Keeping the chains moving for the Vikings, but they're going to have an interesting challenge on their hands. As they have a longer third down play, the Bluffton Tech defense going to eventually respond. We'll see if it's this first down play here. Third and six. Medelik looking. Has time in the pocket. Going to actually scramble upfield and gets to the first down marker and a little bit farther. The Vikings now on the 25-yard line, looking to finish this drive off, but they fumble the football. Miscommunication on the toss play. Gives the ball back to the Bluffton Tech Fighting Muskrats. So the Vikings could have taken a two-score lead, but instead turned the football over. And then look at this. A defensive lineman goes off sides. Now it's first and five now. Giving Paul the ball, able to pick up the first down. Thanks all because of that offside penalty. Would have been second and short otherwise. But now, second and six. Throwing over the middle. Tries to get to his receiver. That is incomplete, though. Now they also face a third and six. Can they get the job done? 
Roberts trying to go over the middle, but look what happens! They turn the ball right back! And ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a football game. I know they're kind of close in, you know, in terms of the ACSA rankings, but Bluffton Tech has been dominant this entire season. And now this is the first time that we've seen these guys play with some kind of adversity as Metallic has another quarterback scramble and gets them inside the 30-yard line. Let's see if they can capitalize this time around. Is Meadowick going to keep it? Well, quarterback keeper to the right-hand side, able to pick up six yards on that one. Is now in a familiar spot, a third and short, just outside of the red zone. Gets it to Boosie again, who breaks the tackle. And is brought down inside the 10-yard line. Is now second and goal. Two plays later for the Vikings. Medelik dropping back. Going to chuck this one towards the left-hand side. Gets it to Outlaw. It is lit up like a Christmas tree, but is still able to hold on to the football, however. Is now third and goal. Going to try to run it in with McKibben. He's going to be stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So the Vikings do have to settle for a field goal, but they do get to extend their lead, though. As they do have a 7-point lead over the Bluffton Tech Fighting Muskrats. And that's how this first quarter ends too. The Vikings doing a real good job in that first quarter. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep it up though. We'll see. So that being said, second quarter of play. Now getting ready to get started here as Seth Roberts is going to drop back the pass. At least that's what he was thinking initially. But all the receivers being covered downfield. Going to go ahead and scramble and pick up the first down all by himself for being brought down at the 39-yard line. As now Roberts will try to throw once again. Facing pressure, but throwing a ball over the middle to Lebon, who does make the catch for him. And now Bluffton Tech just a handful of yards away from tying this ball game back. As now Roberts throwing over the middle, finds Lebon once again. Almost gets into the end zone, but looks like he will be sucked up by the one-yard line monster. And so, just a few yards away now from the goal line. Can Roberts get some there? No. Going to the back of the end zone, finding Davis. And it's going to be a touchdown for the Bluffton Tech football team. They're able to tie this game for the very first time today. So now a huge drive now for the Vikings. As this game is now knotted back up at 10 apiece. Bluffton Tech scores on their very first drive of the second quarter. We'll see if the Vikings can do the same though as Daniel actually hurdles over a guy and then breaks another tackle before being brought down across midfield. That's one way to get it done, you know, get some hurdles, get the team fired up. But they are facing a long third down play here, third and seven. Medelik going to toss it out to McKibben, but the defense smells it out, though. They were not fooled. And they got to punt the football back away to Bluffton Tech. Can Bluffton Tech take the lead for the very first time today? It'll be interesting to see as both teams, it seems like, have been feeling each other out so far. As now, first and ten, going to Paul on the right-hand side, able to pick up some good yardage as well. An eight-yard gain on the as a result of that toss play. But two plays fit later now, still facing another third down. Got to make sure the drive does not stall out this early on. It's now third and three. Roberts dropping back, throwing quickly to the left-hand side. Finds Robert Lebon once again, who gets him across midfield. Another first down for Bluffton Tech as the drive will still continue as it will be another throw this time to that same corner of the field it seems like as they're already on the edge of the red zone as now first and ten Roberts going to the right hand side tries to get it to the opposite side of the field gotta show both sides some love but that's incomplete this time around though as they're gonna try to throw again second and ten and it's another touchdown for Bluffton Tech Harrell Finding the corner of the end zone, exposing that defense on that side of the field. Bluffton Tech taking the lead for the very first time today. And with 3.30 left, the Vikings desperately need to get a response in. Got to come in with some sort of momentum to end this first half of play. We'll see if this drive will be what the doctor orders. As Manwick's going to get them going. Getting a nice quarterback scramble all the way up to the 40-yard line. So that will certainly help him out. 
As now, first and ten, gonna go deep down the middle, gets it to Daniels, who breaks a tackle, but is fought down at the 30-yard line. A 30-yard gain as the Vikings draw closer. Two plays later, second and eight, going to the right-hand side, gets it to Daniels again. Another first down that this time gets him into the red zone. But can they turn it into six points? Third and four. Metal it going to try to throw it short, but the passes drop, however. So the Vikings do have to settle for a field goal. And now Bluffton Tech with the football back, but with only a minute 30 left in the first half of foot play, we'll see if they run the clock out given that Darius Roberts actually got hurt. On that play gonna be out for a few plays but i wonder if that will affect the play calling at all for the final portion of this first half as we do take a quick look at their backup quarterback but it's just all handoffs here darius roberts does come back into the game however and is ready to take the snap although it looks like they are going to indeed run the clock out you know because they are you know no particular rush whatsoever However, that play could change their mind, though, as Lee Bond is able to break a couple tackles, and now a goal line situation going to ensue. But they got to get up to the line quickly. First and goal. This is going to be the last play of the first half. It's either all or nothing, but look at that. Lee Bond finds the end zone. Not good clock management. I would have called a timeout, but it works out fine for Bluffton Tech, though. As they find the end zone before the end of this first half. Taking a 24-13 lead into the locker room. And what's also scary at the same time is that Bluffton Tech starts out with the football in the second half. So Bluffton Tech now has the ball and they certainly have momentum as well. As the first play of the second half starts with a great catch up the left hand side. But can they capitalize off it though? They have a third and eight a few plays later. Robert's going to try to throw for the first down, but is intercepted by Jor of Iowa, who gets across midfield. The board being forced out of bounds by the Bluffton Tech offense. So a nice interception for that defense. That will help the cause a little bit, but the Vikings do go free and out on the following possession. So Darius Roberts and company are back out there on the field. Going to try to learn from past mistakes. Got to take care of the football. Because as long as you do that, you should certainly be fine. As now, second and ten coming up here for the Muskrats. Roberts will drop back to pass. He's going to chuck this one deep downfield. And it's going to be incomplete. Broken up at the last second. And now, facing third and ten. Roberts looking around. He's going to... Try to scramble for the first down. Can he get there? No. Just a couple yards shy. Tried to fight for it, but they had to settle for a field goal instead. So here comes the Vikings offense Want for the first time in the second half. We'll see if they can do anything meaningful this time around. Last drive, they were set up beautifully by their defense thanks to a nice interception, but went free and out though, so... Hopefully we see something different this time around as Medwick will throw to the right hand side, but it's incomplete, however. As now, third and five. Under center, gonna go ahead and drop back and pass, though. Medwick gonna try to scramble. No, he's gonna be hit from behind. Somehow maintains body control just enough to get it to his tight end. And because of that, the drive continues. Medwick now scrambling once again. Almost getting out of that tackle, but the defensive lineman... Holding on for dear life and was able to get help just in time though. As another first and ten ensues, it's Metalik taking it on a quarterback keeper. Pass game really ain't doing them too many favors, so you know, why not just go to the run game for a little bit? As McCavin does pick up a first down on an actual pass play, so that's nice. As now, first and ten. Metalik dropping back the pass once again, looking. Gonna try to run on the throw on the run, but that's gonna cost him as he had a man wide open. But their pressure forces an incomplete pass. As now a few plays later, the Vikings now facing third and six. Metal gonna try to pick it up with the legs once again, though. And does do so successfully in order to pick up the first down. 
Metalik now scrambling again, she almost gets the first down marker again. Metalik just doing it all with the legs. We'll see if they call his own number again though, and they sort of do with this pass play as he throws across the body. Not recommended if you're watching this at home, ladies and gentlemen, but it does work out for him as they do get to completion. As now, second and nine, Metalik dropping back. Gonna throw it to the left hand side, but it's incomplete. And so another third down. Can Bluffton Tech finally get him off the field? This is play number 14 of this drive. We'll see if that's the magic number as Meg will try to run for the first down. It is going to be short of the first down. And the Vikings will elect to settle for the field goal. Cutting into this deficit, now just a 11 point game. Game could still go either way, so gotta give it to these Vikings, man. They are certainly playing really hard for that coaching staff over at the Iowa Institute of Technology. As now, speaking of which, second and 11 coming up. Metalik dropping back the pass. Has a clean pocket, but decides to run for the first down and does pick it up and so much more before sliding down in the process. Another first down for the Vikings. Is now first and ten. Metalik trying to throw it to his tailback, but that's incomplete, though. So now we gotta try again. Second and ten. Metalik gonna chuck it to the left hand side, but it's incomplete too. That's how this third quarter ends. This game could go either way, and the Vikings, man, for sure, have a huge drive waiting for them. As this drive is gonna be huge for the Vikings right now. Third and long. Gonna actually try to run it as McKinnon. Not finding who's gonna get the first down, but that's not gonna be the case. And look at this, they also settle for a field goal as well. They get this in, that's gonna be a one possession game, but look at this! The kick is no good. And Bluffton Tech is going to take over on the 30 yard line. So now the Vikings desperately need a stop. Because if not, then this lead could be out of reach, given how the offense has played for the Vikings ever since the first quarter of play. It's now first and ten. Roberts going over the middle, tries to get it to one of his favorite receivers in Robert Lebon, but is incomplete. It's now second and ten. Roberts dropping back the pass. He's going to go ahead and scramble upfield. He's got a man, got some blocks, and is able to get across the 25-yard line too. Bluffton Tech looking to extend this lead, but Iowa having other plans though, getting them to a third and long a couple plays later. But we'll see what Sean Roberts and company have in mind. Gonna throw over the middle, get it to Harold, but it's short of the marker. However, yards after the catch not coming into play. And so for now, it does remain a two score game, but the Vikings really need to get on it right now. We'll see if they can get it done. As Metalik once again going to try to run it up the middle and pick up some good yards too. Metalik, you know, not having the best passing game, but has over 100 rushing yards, so you love to see that from your quarterback. Definitely a dual threat guy there under center. We'll see if they call his number again. They do. Third and two. Metalik looking. Going to try to scramble for the first down marker and does get there. Also get in the midfield too, so a little bit of extra yards after that. So the drive still continues for the Vikings as second and eight. Metalik looking, gonna try to throw it over in the middle. He has a man, but it's intercepted. Miller from Bluffton Tech winning the one-on-one -on -one attack. And so Bluffton Tech has the football once again and looks to cement themselves in this game. We'll see what Bluffton Tech ends up doing. They're gonna probably try to you know, run some clock at this juncture of the ball game as well as get some points on the board. Although that huge pass play has different meanings though, as Blyce is able to make a huge catch up field. Is now first and 10. Roberts going over the right hand side. That is incomplete though. And now second and 10 coming up. Roberts dropping back to pass. He's got a man. Got plenty of time too. Able to scramble up for a nice gain on that one. Third and four coming up for Bluffton Tech. As now Roberts dropping back again. A short throw to Sawaba. 
He gets to the first down marker, keeps the drive going. Though it is essentially first and goal coming up. We'll see what they do here. Going to try to run with Roberts, but look at this. A fumble on the play. And the Vikings recover. So this game is far from over. But the Vikings have to get a touchdown. Otherwise, this game is essentially over. So we'll see what they do. Medowick going to have to run with it once again. Receivers just can't get open for this guy, unfortunately. As even though he picks up solid yards, it's still going to run the clock. As look what happens here. The ball is tipped on the pitch. And look where it is. In the end zone for Bluffton Tech. As now... The lead is even larger. A free score game. What a freak play too. Have not seen that yet in this series. Watching dozens of games for you guys over the course of this inaugural season of the ACSA. That is actually the first time I've seen that, so that's insane. It's now third and three now. Meadow is going to try to pick up the first down. Gets to the boosty. Who does have the only touchdown so far today for the Vikings. He gets them another first down, but a few plays later, they're facing another third and long. Can they get to the first down marker this time around? We'll have to wait and see if they can get it done. As now, third and seven, Metallic going to try to send this one deep once again, but it's nearly intercepted. It gives the football back to the Bluffton Tech Fighting Muskrats again. With one objective in mind, trying to run down this clock. As the Vikings do start to take their timeouts, they just took one right there. And then after this first down by Paul, another first down that's going to lead to another Vikings timeout. As now two plays later, Roberts looking around, going to try to pick it up for the first down, going to just run with it. Pass wasn't there, so just not worried about forcing anything. And so an easy first down for the Fighting Muskrats. As Roberts will actually drop back to pass again, but again, Roberts is going to just go ahead and run it himself for a few yards. As there's only 20 seconds left, I'm surprised they're still passing the football, but yet I can see why! As Davis almost has himself another touchdown. So it was a tough, spirited game that the Iowa Institute of Technology did give the Bluffton Tech finding muskrats. But it turns out Bluffton Tech was too much as they will end up winning this game by a final score of 37-16. Bluffton Tech continues to remain undefeated, now improving to 8-0 here in the inaugural season of the ACSA. Meanwhile, the Iowa Institute Technology does fall down to 6-2 thanks to this loss here at home. But, you know, losing to the number 5 team in the nation, there is nothing to be upset about they are also having a good season i would not be shocked to see these guys in a major bowl game going forward but with that being said that is going to end today's acsa action if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you do happen to be brand new to the channel as well in the meantime though i hope you guys are all out there having a wonderful day take care everybody